Welcome to this fourth uh, lecture on macroeconomics. Um, I am Paolo Canofari. My uh, email address is pcanofari at lewis.it. I am a researcher at the European School of Political Economy. Uh, at Lewis, and today we um, will try to compute some uh, value on uh, gross domestic product. Um, a first important definition is uh, the difference between nominal gross domestic product and real gross domestic product. Usually in economics you can find this uh, difference between uh, real and nominal variables. Um, the nominal gross domestic product is uh, expressed using current prices. So we can express the nominal GDP in 2001 using prices of 2001. The uh, nominal GDP uh, or GDP is, is gross domestic product. Uh, the nominal GDP of 2002 using prices of 2002 and so on and so forth. Um, the real GDP uh, can be computed using uh, prices of a given base year. For instance, you can compute the real GDP uh, in 2001 uh, using prices uh, um, prevailing uh, in uh, 1991 for instance, or 1999, uh, the same in 2002, you uh, can apply the uh, prices uh, prevailing in 1999 or in a base year and so on and so forth. So, the uh, first important definition is that uh, the definition of GDP deflator, GDP deflator uh, which is defined three lines means that this variable is defined as the nominal GDP uh, divided by the real GDP So this is a sort of um, price indicator because it's the ratio between the nominal GDP and the real GDP. Uh, we can try to uh, explain uh, uh, this uh, using this equation. We can solve an exercise. Okay, you can consider this table here, which you have uh, for year. 1991 till 2000, the nominal GDP, the GDP deflator, and the real uh, GDP. Using the definition of GDP deflator, we can complete this table. Uh, so if you can read this uh, uh, this table, you can try to compute the real GDP in 1991, the nominal GDP in 1992, and the real, the real GDP for nine, uh, since 1993 to 1998, the GDP deflator in 1999, and the real GDP in 2000. So this is our uh, aim, okay? Okay, so we can try to, uh, to perform some computation. Um, in this case, in 1992, the nominal GDP, you, you have the, uh, the nominal GDP and the GDP deflator. So, uh, in order to compute the, uh, the real GDP, we can use this definition, because the real GDP in 
91 is equal to the GDP deflator in 1991 uh, which mod uh, sorry no, is the nominal GDP divided by the GDP deflator nominal GDP in 1991 divided by the GDP deflator so using the value reported in the table you have the nominal GDP which is this number 0647 divided by the GDP deflator which is 0 0.8468 Eight, four. So this ratio should be equal to one seven zero one two zero three dot three. Uh, this uh, real GDP is greater in respect to the nominal GDP because the GDP deflator um, is uh, uses uh, 1995 prices so 1995 uh, is the uh, base year in order to compute the real GDP uh, we can try to solve to, to, to find the uh, nominal GDP in 1992 in this case you can uh, the nominal GDP GDP in 1992 will be equal to the real GDP in 1992 multiplied by the GDP deflator In 1992 okay so we can compute the nominal GDP uh, the uh, real GDP in 1992 is 171414149 you need to multiply by the GDP deflator which is 0 0.88534 And the, uh, the value you can get from this uh, is the, the nominal GDP equal to 1517604.7. So this is the uh, nominal GDP in 1992. Uh, you can try by yourself to compute the real GDP for. Uh, the year 1993, 1994, 1995, 1996, and 1997, uh, and also 1998. Um, as example, we can compute the, for 1999 the value of the GDP deflator using the definition of GDP deflator because for 1999 we have nominal GDP and real GDP so how we can compute the uh, GDP deflator okay the GDP deflator in 1999 so the GDP deflator in 1999 is equal to the nominal GDP GDP in 1999 
divided by the uh, real GDP. So it will be equal to, in this example, the nominal GDP is 2144959 divided by the real GDP, which is 1907064. Okay, the results is 1.1247. For, for you can consider also an approximation uh, using the first three uh, number. Um, for 2000 you can try to compute this value uh, by yourself. In particular for 2000 you need to compute the real GDP which can be computed by the ratio between nominal GDP and GDP deflator. So try by yourself to uh, compute this value, then I will show you uh, in a second, uh, you can stop the video the, uh, and try to uh, complete this, uh, this table and I will show you the results. Okay, the solution of the exercise is displayed in this table. As you can see, the nominal GDP, the GDP deflator, and the real GDP, and in red the results of the previous exercise, which was in this in this form. So you can check if your computation uh, has been uh, correct.